Netanyahu charged with bribery, fraud and breach of trust, capping a dramatic political year. Here's a summary of the article. For the first time in Israel's history, a sitting Prime Minister is accused of bribery. Attorney General Avichai Mendelblit announced Thursday Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu would be charged with bribery, fraud, and breach in three corruption cases, dubbed cases 4000, 2000, and 1000. Greater than greater than can Netanyahu remain PM after charges and get immunity, greater than greater than all of Netanyahu corruption cases, explained. Case 4000 is considered the most serious, and revolves around an alleged bribery deal between Netanyahu and businessman Shaul Elevich, who controlled the Baziku Telecommunications Company and the Wallen News site. According to the indictment, Netanyahu and Elevich engaged in a quid pro pro deal in which Netanyahu, as communication minister, led regulatory steps directly tied to Elevich's businesses and interests that yielded the tycoon some $500 million. According to the indictment, the deal called for Netanyahu to try to limit the circulation of rival newspaper Israel Hayam, and in return Moses would give Netanyahu favorable coverage. In this case, Netanyahu is accused of fraud and breach of trust. In case 1000, Netanyahu is also accused of fraud and breach of trust over gifts he allegedly received from Hollywood mogul Arnon Milken and billionaire James Packer. This post received a score of 61,532, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. If you think the wheels of justice grind slowly in America, this thing has been winding its way through Israeli justice for years and years. Bibi's ability to dodge what is understood to be widespread corruption by him, his wife, and his government is the stuff of legend. Yep, yeah, I was seeing comments about the indictment is imminent this morning and thought, yeah, yeah, we've been hearing this for months, I was honestly shocked to see that it has finally happened. Dude. I served in the Israeli army. It took the prosecution over a year to indict ME, and the penalty was a tiny fine and demotion. This was all after I finished serving in the army, too. That's just how justice works. What did you do? Hacked an IDF network because they didn't listen to me and refused to either fix it themselves or let me fix it. Took them forever to indict me and then when they did it it was only a slap on the wrist, thankfully. Demoted to private though, but who cares, I was discharged before the indictment and the papers have my normal rank, with lavish praise in feedback. You'd never guess I was caught martialed twice from the documents. This is like the villain's origin story from Die Hard 4. He's not a common thief, he's an exceptional thief. That's the first Die Hard brother. I, have only seen the first, hangs head in shame. Boo this man. Boo. In all honesty you really need to see the other two. The second was great but probably a step down from the original. The third though, I would say it's on par with the first, and that's saying a lot. Per WSJ, the most serious charge, bribery, carries a sentence of up to 10 years in prison. It's insane to me that he's under investigation for bribery, but at the same time, scrambling to form a government just to save his own ass. How can people support that? Wait are we talking about Trump or Netanyahu? Why does Netanyahu not just have his Department of Justice write a memo saying he can't be charged? If Netanyahu didn't say he was committing bribery, fraud, and breach of trust, then he didn't do it. Source, 30% of USA. About 30% of Israel as well, probably, unfortunately. Edit, TBH thinking about it it's probably more like 10% or less actually, there's a whole lot of people who know he's corrupt but believe the competition is so much worse that corruption is the least of evils. Is 30% of every population an asshole that needs to be kept in the closet lest they release their baser natures? But did he explicitly say that he was committing a crime? No. Then how can any of us know he did anything? You can't. Checkmate liberals lol, Devon Nunes, probably. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.